Hey, so you, how long you been in? Just this first day? First day, yep. Experiencing, you, getting your room set up and everything? Yep. Yeah, yeah, you like it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's super nice. Yeah, you got you got to admit it's it's better than anything anywhere close around here. Yeah. You got you love you're gonna love this. Uh, what do you gonna call this patio out here? Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be cool at night and in the evening when the sun goes down, it'll be nice. And the actual TV room is a killer deal. There's the guy you want to interview down there. That's G. G pulling in. Oh yeah, we love it. I think uh, it turned out beautiful. It's uh. You know, it's quite the uh, piece of equipment and station that we can help the response of the citizens in our district. And it's going to match your growth. The look, the feel of it, as, as, as this area grows, you just feel it, it, it's ahead of time. Yeah, that's kind of what we looked at. You know, the architects brought in several different proposals, and so, you know, there's several new fire stations in our area, and so we went outside that box. You know, I wanted uh, something unique didn't cost uh, you know a whole lot more money but we wanted to stand out uh, for, for our area and, and put Rogersville in the forefront and hopefully get more uh, commercial growth in our area and I think this building lends to that. I think it'll help. I think it'll help anybody that's looking at the area that's going to invest be it Walmart or Dollar General or someplace like that they're gonna they're gonna see this building and understand the value of, of having it it's all about pride, you know, and so I think uh, it's just hopefully everybody in the community will have pride in this building. We have pride in it, and that pride spreads just like anything else. And I think uh, the more we can show the outside world the pride that's here in this small little town, uh, the better we are. I appreciate it. It's, it's, it's going to do good over the years. I think so, and uh, you know, uh, these guys have uh, got some great tools. We have a workout room, we have a decon room, we have a mental health place upstairs that people go get away. So we tried to cover everything. Uh, for our employees because this is their, really their second home or first home for that matter, you know, and so we want to make sure that uh, we, we we're the best for the community employees and, and everybody in between. Architect did a wonderful job. Yeah, BKD, uh, we never worked with them before, but uh, they're pretty special people and uh, they work really hard for us and I think uh, Eric and the staff over there are, are above and beyond. I'd recommend them to anybody. Okay. We well, thank you, man. All right. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Open house is what time tomorrow? Uh, four o'clock. Four o'clock tomorrow. So they got the uh, exhaust things hooked up? Yep. Yeah. The final damage was the exhaust, the diesel stuff, all this stuff. Everything pretty much ready to roll. Cool. That's the exhaust we were talking about. It, it's a breakaway exhaust. They crank the truck and pull off and it, it just comes right off. It'll literally move and then pop off. Yep. And the plug-in is just to keep the battery system charged. Yep. They always have to be ready. I know y'all proud of this place. Oh yeah, very proud. It's, uh, it's an awesome state-of-the-art station. It is state-of-the-art. Yeah, different than anything in Rogersville right now. Yeah, well, Rogersville's is growing. I see the gym. Y'all gonna love that. Yeah. Good workout. You got a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah, you got these cattle, kettlebells, they call them. Yeah, rower and a treadmill, bike, all that. Yeah, a jump box. Yeah. Let people jump up and down on it. Yeah, this has got a roller going on in here. Yeah. Uh, you know, they can keep it open and have the air moving in or bring stuff out here. Right, right. Hey, even cleaning the concrete for the big day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a finishing touch right there. The air compressor's in. Yeah. I was told it was the architect's idea. 
Probably so. Uh, it's a good one. That's a good choice. Yeah. It's a gear extractor. In other words, it removes what? Uh, it'll remove the carcinogens and the, the nasty uh, stuff that could make people ill out of there. So as fires occur, you know, and, and things burn, you get a lot of bad stuff coming off them that people don't even think is there and know is there. And so that's what firefighters Yeah, the smoke are. has chemicals in it and it gets on their clothes. So this can wash those clothes. Mm -hmm. but upstairs, you've got clothes for the regular clothes. That's correct. You wash. And this is a dryer too? Uh, they'll hang dry their gear. Oh, their they're big gear, yeah. Yeah, their turnout gear. You got your ice machine. Ice machine. Nice little space. So it's based on, on uh, station, who's working? Yeah, so there's three shifts. There's A, B, and C shift. And uh, each shift has a captain, a driver, operator, and a firefighter. So there's three people on a given shift here. Uh, so this is, uh, in particular, this is B shifts or A shifts there. Uh, the other one behind the C shift, it looks like. But um, they've started moving their stuff over, so their crews are be Today is C shift, so C shift will be good tomorrow. But yeah, this is a place for them to store all their equipment, the turnout gear. Like I said, they each have two sets of turnout gear. Uh, they also, in those kind of red duffel bags, that's water rescue gear. So we have folks that are on our water rescue team, and so that's their equipment for those types of uh, rescues and purchases. Wow. different events in here for birthday parties, baby showers, uh, emergency management, yeah, all kinds of things. Any different sort of things. Uh, we can also do continuing education, firefighter training, and engineering, so it's set up, you know, with technology and well. It's going to come in super handy. Oh, yeah. Like I was telling him, at our other station, our community room is pretty much booked solid every weekend. Bar area here where they can sit, or we have a dining table. Um, traditionally, in the fire service, a lot of you know, conversations happen around the dinner table, and, uh, whether it be about training or what's happening in the fire. So, good place to be. You know, these guys are here for more hours at times. It's like their homework on the school and try to get that homey feature as much as possible. It definitely feels like that. I like the bar stools. I knew they were coming. <laughs> And this table is really good, and these, these chairs are lu luxurious, I'm telling you. Even got logo on them. That's nice. And I take it the TV's brand new. TV's brand new.
Let's go. Let's go. Talk to me.